Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I did a super quick and easy eyeshadow look. It is just this bronzy look right here. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This is my first time doing a full look with this eyeshadow palette. So I also kind of did a little first impressions in there as well. So without further ado, if you would like to see how I got this eyeshadow look, them, please keep watching. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into the eyes. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I thought I was recording a few minutes ago, and I wasn't, so that's how my Tuesday is going. But all I have done so far is put the color Burnt Orange um, right here. Just blended it into my lid with a Morphe M433 brush. So I just picked up a little bit and just gently blended this into my into my lid into my crease I'm sorry so I was saying when I was talking to myself I was like I don't know how I feel about this palette yet I haven't used it for a full eye look so I figured in today's video I would do that and also tell you guys my first impressions of it because I haven't used it for a full look yet so next I'm going to pick up the color temp temp tempura. I thought that said tempura. It's this color right here. It's just this light pink. And I'm gonna pick that up just with a Sephora eyeshadow brush. And put that on the lid. Just pat that on the lid. This is a really, really pretty color. I don't even know like what I'm going for today. I think like a bronzy, bron pinky bronzy look. And I'm just patting that and blending it in with the crease color, but not taking it too, too high, just staying focused on the lid and the inner corner. love okay so next I'm going to take this just this fluffy it cosmetics brush and I'm gonna pick up the color orange soda this is right above burnt orange I'm gonna pick this up this is really pretty too tap off any excess I feel like that's like if you're not saying that and you're doing a tutorial are you even doing a tutorial no, you're not. So I'm putting that kind of just as a transition. So it's like lightest, a little bit darker, and then darkest. Got confused back there. You guys, I am not a nervous person, and I have found that when I'm recording, I, I, I get so awkwardly nervous it's really weird actually I've never experienced this in my life like I'm like no one is even sitting in front of you why are you nervous okay so I picked up a little bit more on the same brush and I'm just gonna go back and do the same thing and follow your natural crease and I like to bring this pretty far down in windshield wiping motions. It's the way to do it. And then the other eye. So yeah, I feel like I've been getting so nervous and I kind of pep talk myself through it. I'm like, who cares? It's for fun not that serious and you love you've always loved watching youtube videos like why not make your own who cares so i don't know and maybe it's just because i just started recently and maybe it'll go away but i definitely get so freaking nervous not kidding not kidding okay so next i'm going to where is the brush I need? Where is 
the brush I need. I'm just going to use this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm going to pick up the color Rustic right here. It's this poop brown color, perfect for the outer V. So I'm going to pick that up. And you want to be a little bit careful with this, but I'm just going to focus it on the outer V of the eye. So don't drag it. Just focus it on the outer V. If I say V one more time, I might turn into the letter V. And then I'm going to take a fluffy NARS, any blending brush will work, but I'm using just a fluffy NARS blending brush and I'm going to blend that out, not just all over the place, but I'm going to focus on the outer V. Focus. So, yeah, I have noticed that... YouTube is definitely not as easy as it seems. I remember I used to be like, oh my gosh, it would be so much fun to make videos. And there was a few times that I tried to over the years. I never had like the proper equipment and I don't know, it just sort of fizzled out. I definitely was not dedicated or serious enough about it, but doing it this time around, I have held myself accountable, much more accountable, and I've told myself, I mean, you know, if you're not going to do it, that's fine, but don't complain about it, you know? So I've learned that it's a lot of work. Editing is a little bit easier for me now because that was super, super hard for me. Like, that was the number one thing that kept me from wanting to do YouTube. I was like, no, I don't know how to edit, it's too hard, like I won't be able to learn, all of that stuff, but I actually feel like now it's actually the filming process, which is just a little bit more stressful for me. But again, it is just the beginning and that's why I try and film a video every single day. Wow, this is actually really pretty. I'm impressed with this palette. Seriously, guys. Um, that's why I push myself to film a video every single day just to get as much practice as I can. And even within like, I don't know, it's been like two or three weeks, I feel like I've like gotten down making a thumbnail that was like super like scary and hard for me too. I was like, no, I don't know how to do it, blah, blah, blah. So easy. So, I try and film something every single day. Even if it's not, like, makeup related, then I try and do something related to health and fitness or just something else. Okay, so I don't like that this palette doesn't have any colors that I can put in my... Um, to like highlight the brow bone with so I'm actually going to take my Tartlet in Bloom palette because I don't want to put any glitter shadow on my brow bone I'm going to take the, tar the Tartlet in Bloom palette I'm gonna take Charmer right here any just any light color will do I like a matte brow bone no shimmer there, sweetie. I don't know. It just like, like, accentuates all of the brow hairs that I have, and I don't like that. So I'm just going to. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this palette. This look is pretty. 
It's like a bronzy, purplish. I'm gonna put a little bit in the tear duct. My lash extensions are coming off too. And I love it. Love. So now I'm going to line my eyes. I'm going to use the Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in dark brown. Looks like this. And let's do this. I don't pull my eye, but. I don't wing out my eyeliner. I just follow my natural. <gasps> Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Oh my God, abort mission, abort, 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 abort. Okay, we can fix that with a little concealer brush. We'll go back in while that still is drying and we will take a tiny bit more of tempura. That. Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I've been loving this lately. Did I say two coats? I meant six. Literally. I love mascara. Wouldn't be able to live without it. And then, depending on if I was going to wear this during the day or at night is um, whether I would do a little bit of eyeshadow on the bottom. Because it is daytime, I'm going to leave it here, but if you wanted to, you could add some of, I would add Rustic or the Cypress Umber just along the bottom lash line to go to day from night, day to night, day to night vibes. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys liked it, it's super easy. Didn't take too, too long. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.